Okay, let's look at selections. And just like the other uh, types of tutorials that Fresco offers here in the Learn section, these concepts, understanding layers, selections, masking, brushes, this applies to basically any type of creative software, whether it be an animation software, um, Photoshop, pixel-based, uh, having an understanding of how these work really helps uh, you manage your artwork. So uh, the selection tool, also the lasso tool, is this little, this little one right here. And if you tap it, there are other versions of it. So lasso, we're just going to stick with the lasso, just to stay simple today. Use selections to move, resize, paint, erase, or create a mask from a specific part of your artwork. Draw the lasso tool around a portion of your artwork to make a selection. So this depends on what layer you have selected to. So over here on the right hand side, I have the cat body selected. So if I do select this part, I really only have the head, not the facial features selected, okay? So next, so using tools with selections. So the cool thing about selections is the brushes that I use, so let's say if I would take an eraser tool and I want to erase part of this head, it's only going to affect what is inside these selections and also what layer I have selected. That's not really what I'm going for. Um, in this case, it looks like we want to do, sure, let's get a, a pixel brush. We're going to get a blue color. Let's bring the, the flow down quite a bit. And let's, sure, let's play with it. So we've got... So I could just be as super messy as I want because the brush is only going to stay inside the, um, the selection. So that's pretty fun. Selection action. So this is what you can do to change different features in your selection. So you can invert your selection. So let's say I want to select everything else other than the, what I have selected here. So at the bottom, you just do more invert selection. And then the only thing you'll really notice is the marching ant showing up here on the side as well. So that means that I can now edit everything other than what I just selected inside this head. So if I want to revert it back, I just invert it back to what it was. You can transform what you have selected. So right now I'm going to deselect. Oops. What happened to it? Yeah, so I'm going to deselect. Go over to my selection tool. Make sure I'm on the right layer. So if I try to, so I was on the cat layer. If I try to select this oh look what happened so I didn't close my lasso so it's gonna ask me to close lasso okay I want to move my fish around if I go to transform what it's not moving it around oh no that's because we're not on the right layer so now we have the right layer selected whoops now we can transform and move our little buddy around Looks like we selected part of the other container, too. Uh, looks like our guide went away, but they're probably just going to tell us to deselect. Oh, let's say I want to make some bubbles, right? We're going to go over here to the ellipse tool, so this is where I'm going to make a bubble. Right? So I've got our bubble selected. I'm gonna make a really light color. Maybe like this gray color. I'm gonna go up to my selection tool. Oh yeah. So deselect. Make another one. 
Okay, so whenever you create a new selection, so I can just cre keep creating these bubbles and look how it doesn't get rid of the original ones unless I do deselect. So let's go back to our brush and since all of these are selected, I can just run this along the entire section and it'll just fill in those bubbles. Now that I deselect it, and that's how I can make some quick little illustrations without, without really having to draw a perfect circle. Cool stuff. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope you have fun exploring uh, Adobe Fresco and selection tools.